So today I'm going to do a video to show you guys how I do my nails. I've had a couple of my friends comment on how lately my manicures have been looking a lot cleaner. Um, so in the interest of saving time, I've already done some of the steps that um, I think, you know, are they're definitely essential to having a nice manicure. And that is one, shape your nails, ladies, please. Slapping on nail polish on your nails that are all kinds of um, lopsided and um, jagged and you know, uneven is, I don't know, to me the equivalent of slapping on some perfume after you've gone to the gym so that you don't have to shower. It looks sloppy. So clean up, shape your nails, clean the nail bed, deal with your cuticles. I use the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. It really helps you deal with your nasty cuticles because they don't look pretty when they're all grown and, and wild. Um, and you know, it helps you not have to nip your cuticles as much because I know there are people out there who don't like to cut their cuticles using a cuticle nipper. Um, what basically what that does is it helps dissolve the cuticle when you're pushing it back um, and kind of get rid of the excess. There's still gonna be a little bit of cuticle le left behind. I personally nip it. Um, I know that some people don't like to. And then cuticle oil is also a great little thing to have if you don't want to go out and buy cuticle oil you can use some olive oil or something in your house um, just make sure whenever you use your cuticle oil you um, wash your hands with soap and water to get all of it off so that your manicure um, doesn't peel because it doesn't adhere to your nails I've already soaked my nails if you don't feel like soaking your nails you can always wash your hands you just want to make sure that you start with a clean nail bed so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some base coat so one of the main questions I get when I am when I you know from people family members or friends or whatnot is um, how do I you know that they always find that they can't paint their nails very well because they make a mess, especially in their non-dominant hand. So I am right-handed and I'm right now I'm painting my left hand. And it's pretty easy because I'm doing it with my dominant hand. But then when you kind of get to your, you know, if you when you when I have to go over and paint my right hand and use my left hand to do that, um, I'm not as good with my left hand as I am with my right. Um, and most people kind of end up making a mess, myself included sometimes. I've gotten a lot better, it takes practice. Um, but what I found is if you go, just go slow. Like the best thing to do when you're giving yourself a manicure is to just have some time. Make sure that you're not super rushed. Um, and that way it'll come out looking nice instead of, kind, instead of messy. And now I'm just going to apply my nail polish. I have this little tiny um, travel size one from Fresh Press and it is called Power Plum. So, like I said, the best way to make sure that you get a nice manicure that looks clean is just to take your time doing it. So, and apply your coats, apply thinner coats. It's going to be better to build up a few really thin coats than do one really thick one that will peel or chip faster and try to get the edge of your nail too so that it kind of seals the nail polish in that helps it last a little bit longer and I got a little bit on my finger but that's okay because we are going to fix it later so basically just do that to all of your nails don't try to get it perfect on the first try just save it for for the end to just clean up and try not to go all the way down on your fingernail until you need to that way you you know you don't have as much nail polish on the brush and you're less likely to make a mess down by your cuticle. So I start just maybe a little bit higher than the very edge of the bed of my nail. Next hand. All right, so I'm definitely gonna go slower on this hand because I am right-handed and I'm painting my nail with my left hand so it can get a little tricky. So just go slow and you'll do a better job of not making a mess. At least that's been my experience.
So now I'm going to do a fast drying top coat. I'm using China Glaze Fast Forward. So you're going to take nail polish remover. I use the real 100% acetone because I feel like it just works faster and easier. I know it's a little bit harsh on the skin, but I just uh, re-moisturize already. I just take a cap. Oops, and pour a little bit. I pour a little bit too much, but I just pour a little bit in the cap. And I take a brush. Now, you don't have to go out and buy a nail brush. This is a brush from e.l.f. This is actually their eyeshadow brush from their $1 line that I use. Um, and I kind of, it, it, it's, the edge is, is nice and pointy and can get flat with it. So it can get really right into those corners. Um, but if you feel, for example, that this might be a, a big brush that you might get clumsy with and then mess up the rest of your polish, you can also use a... Um, eyeliner brush this one is from elf's one dollar line as well um i just never used it because i wasn't crazy about it but now i use it for my nails and that can also get right into the crit um right into the edges of your nails to clean up nail polish messes um without necessarily messing up the rest of your nail so then i just dip the brush in the nail polish remover and i just go around my nails to clean up anywhere where I may have just, you know, colored outside of the lines. And you get better at doing this the more often you do it. The first few times you might go a little too far and um, get your nail polish. It's okay, you can always fix it. Um, but you do get a lot better at it and a lot faster at it. The same advice that I would give for painting your nails with your non-dominant hand is the same advice I would give for cleaning up and that is to just go slow so that you can control where you're applying, where you're applying the acetone and not totally messing up your nail. And just kind of do that all the way around. All right, I'm going to use the other brush to do my other hand just so you can see, just so you can see it. You don't necessarily need both brushes, but you can see how they both work. Since this is a little bit of a bigger brush, it kind of takes care of bigger messes a lot easier. Like I totally messed up this nail. This thumb, I painted everywhere. So to try to help keep my nail polish from getting messed up, I will tug the skin around the side of my nails down and then clean with the bigger brush. You can do this with a smaller brush too if you need to, but I find I need to do this more often with the bigger brush so that I don't end up knocking the brush into the rest of my nail and I can get right into the, right into the edges. Now, if you don't have brushes and you don't want to go out and buy any, although I think that these are a cheaper solution than what I'm about to present, you can also use these cosmetic Q-tips where one side is pointy and one side is round. 
I love these because you can use them for eyeliner, you can use them to apply just about anything, even eyeshadow with these. Um, and I found this box that has 250 of them at the dollar store for $2.50. Um, but you could always take the pointy side, dip it in acetone, and then kind of go around your nail to clean up. So, and this is a nice little disposable option if you like. Um, or if you just want to go buy these from e.l.f. or at Target for a dollar each, you can do that. So anyway, there you go. That is how you can give yourself a nice, clean manicure at home without having to shell out money to the uh, to your manicurist at a nail salon if you're, you know, trying to save money or tight on a budget and can't really go out and have your nails done for you. This is how you can do it for yourself and still make them look just as nice. Anyway, I hope the, this tip helped and um, have a great day.